Well, there are more changes to the college football landscape waiting in the wings. On March 1st, the NCAA Football Rules Committee proposed rules that could very soon take college football a step closer to the NFL. The major proposals the committee made for the 2024 season and beyond are the creation of a two-minute timeout, an automatic timeout, when two minutes remain in the second and fourth quarters, the in-game use of tablet, tablet technology, teams for all three divisions would have the option of using tablets to view in-game video only. The biggest proposal of them all, the approval of coach to player helmet communication. This proposal would allow only FBS teams the option to use coach to player communications through the helmet of one player on the field. That player would be identified by having a green dot on the back of their helmet. The communication from the coach to the player would be turned off with 15 seconds remaining on the play clock or when the ball is snapped, whichever comes first. New Mexico State football head coach Tony Sanchez says the team was using the new helmet communications during its spring season. As for UTEP, head coach Scotty Walden and the Miners have not dabbled with it this spring, but do plan on doing so in the future. Now, even though UTEP and NMSU find themselves in different situations when it comes to working with the coach to player communication devices, both feel approval of the technology will benefit their squads this, this season. It's great too. a team like us that likes to huddle. We were the slowest snapping offense in the country last year, you know, so we talked about how do we speed that up? You know, do we get into a no huddle? And you know, we've done that before too, but now adding the device, we can go, we're, we're snapping the ball at such a faster clip now. It definitely, I think it helps us play faster. Um, if it's for some reason slowed us down, we go back to old school, kind of how we do it. But we definitely plan on using it. I mean, I think it's a weapon, man. I think that, you know, for tempo offenses, I think it lets you go even faster, you know. So I think it really benefits a team like us. Now, the recommendations need to be approved by the NCAA Playing Rules Oversight Panel. The panel scheduled to meet today, but no word yet on a ruling. If approved, coach to player helmet comms will finally be in college football. 30 years after the NFL adopted the technology.